One of the really cool things about this project is, is it had some unique engineering that went into it. These offset circles where the dome is over the, the carousel itself, which is offset in the middle of it, it, it created um, interesting challenge with the way that the geometry went together for the engineering. And uh, engineers like things to be concentric and centered, and in this case, they weren't. So the way that we solved that, I thought was pretty unique. We came up with a, a major girder line that kind of bisected the space and carries about half the weight of the overall roof. And it's a huge piece of steel that had to come in, I understand, from Florida by train. And the dome itself um, has a tension ring at the base that we incorporated into the flat roof and then a compression ring at the top. One of the other rewarding aspects of this project has just been the interest from everybody. And the Hutton kids were the first group who actually rode the carousel when it first opened and Walker Construction came up with the idea of involving them again in the reconstruction. And so it was really fun. They got to stop by our office and we got to demonstrate um, some of the unique aspects of the engineering. So what we have to do is we do these models and Josh is going to demonstrate this a little bit. And we play around with the types of materials and what the dome is made out of and what the tension ring is made out of and we have to make those two kind of match up. So this is the flat roof portion that you can see up there. And then there's the dome. And they're two different separate structural systems in this case. And the dome was actually built out of a lightweight steel. When it's all finished, it, it gets sheetrocked and painted and everything else. And then they, they have the ability to project a light show up on that dome ceiling. Anytime you get kids and, and curious kids, um, involved in a project and they ask you the simple question of why? Why did you do that? And it's good to be challenged in that way because well of course the reason that we did it was for you know to support the architect's vision and to we had to support the snow loads and the weight and everything but sometimes we get really caught up in the details and the specifics of what we do and it's fun to, to go out and explain from a really simple point of view of well this is why and um, it brings it full circle for us as well.